Hello, good morning. It's Monday the 13th. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. So the Bank of England's MPC, they face a tricky old time managing inflation into 2022. Uh, many economists report confusion over the path of inflation, confirming indeed that it's unclear whether UK inflation is temporary or not. Uh, that means that the markets face a tricky old time predicting how the Bank of England will manage monetary policy going forwards. Um, it does look more like we'll see policy start to tighten soon, ending the era of ultra-loose monetary policy. But Governor Bailey has acknowledged that with inflation running constantly above the 2% target, there is time to act, but there's a lot riding on a rate hike when the Omicron effect is still unknown. So who knows, we may still see rates kept on hold this week. Uh, to add to their decision, we have employment data for November due out tomorrow and inflation data follows on Wednesday. But really, regardless of the data, it's also difficult to gauge how the market will react if the MPC votes to leave rates on hold again, especially after Boris was on last night to confirm the Covid risk level has been raised to its second highest level. Yes, that may be a tactic to distract away from the Tory Christmas party but it was reportedly on the advice of the chief medical officers. Um, last week, sterling touched fresh year lows against the dollar around 131.60. So it looks like the market is already pricing in a no change vote. Uh, we kick off the, uh, the new week from around 132.30 against the dollar and 117.25 against the euro. Stateside, the Fed meeting is expected to be a much more bullish affair this week. They started tapering their economic support last month and they are expected to accelerate the pace of this taper when they meet this week. Naturally, that brings a rate hike uh, closer into view earlier than originally expected. And the current forecasts are for two rate hikes next year, with the first being uh, probably early in Q2. Inflation remains a key driver for this action, though. Uh, and last week, inflation data confirmed a month-on-month -month increase of 0.8%. That was down from 0.9% the month before. So there is always a chance that it's beginning to fall naturally. The headline year-on-year -year inflation, though, still rose. That was up from 6.2 to 6.8%, still way above their 2% target and far too high to ignore. So all this is providing pretty strong support for the dollar index, but that's struggling to get over 96.60. We kick off the new week around the 96 level uh, with euro dollar starting the week around 112.85. Well, that's it from me. I'm going to make a dash for it before it rains again. Join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.